Ah, oh, I love the smell of new drone in the morning. Hello everyone, I'm Trisha Hirschberger and in this episode of DIY in 5, we're going to teach you some of the basics of battery maintenance to keep your drone flying as long as possible. Once you're done enjoying that new drone smell, make sure to subscribe and be the first to see our upcoming DIY videos. First things first, charge that new tech friend of yours, and I don't mean your visa. One of the first things you'll notice about drones is that once you start flying, your battery doesn't last very long, usually 20 to 25 minutes on most consumer drones. If you had RC cars as a kid, you already know this struggle all too well. The only difference now is gravity. Make sure your drone doesn't run out of juice in midair. There are a few factors that could affect how much flight time you get from a full charge. The first factor is weather. If you're trying to fly in high winds, which is generally not recommended, you'll notice your battery drains faster. This is because your drone has to work harder in order to fly. It's a better plan overall to fly in calmer weather. The next battery drain is accessories. If you have a bunch of prop guards, lens filters, bolt-on cameras, and other add-ons that just add weight, then your drone has to work harder to fly. It's best to remove any unnecessary pieces for the best battery life. The last thing we'll mention is your flying style. Maybe you've been watching some YouTube videos about the Drone Racing League and got inspired. Flying your drone as fast as it goes for long periods of time will eat up your battery faster than a kid going through candy on Halloween. Steady controlled flights will give you longer flight times and as a bonus, better video footage if that's what you're into. Then there's battery maintenance. While most of us long for the warm days of summer, your drone's battery is not a fan of the heat. The hotter your batteries become, the shorter their lifespan is. A good rule of thumb is you shouldn't fly with a battery straight off the charger that's still warm, and you shouldn't charge a battery that's just been used. But that doesn't mean you should go and throw your batteries in the freezer. In fact, don't do that. It's extremely dangerous to put a frozen drone battery on the charger. The chemicals inside these lithium polymer batteries could have an explosive reaction to being charged when cold. If you're out shooting some snowboarding footage or just a local winter landscape, be sure to bring any batteries to room temperature before charging. This will keep you safe and your batteries lasting as long as possible. So what's the first thing you're gonna do with that new compact flying machine? I'm probably going to tape Superman arms to it so that when I watch back the footage, it looks like I'm flying. Don't knock it until you try it, it's pretty cool. If you want to see more drone videos, check out these other great DIY episodes before you go. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and no drones were harmed in the making of this video. Promise. <laughs>